What happens when you stop working out? Does muscle turn into fat? Is that the truth? Does that really happen? Today, you're gonna find out. What's up guys, it's Anthony from AB Fitness Center where we help you to lose body fat, gain muscle, and get stronger. Like I said, today we're gonna cover does fat muscle turn into fat? What happens when you stop working out? You know, I'm sure you all have seen that picture of Arnold, that really, really bad picture of Arnold where he just looks completely out of shape and completely fat. <laughs> and I know you saw that picture and you said, you see what happens when you stop working out? So does muscle turn into fat? Is that a thing? So you're going to find out today. So before we get started, I want you to make sure you hit that subscribe button. This way you never miss a beat and you get real life, appliable fitness information without the fluff. And also make sure you drop me a like wherever you're listening to this. This way it lets all the brains of all the networks do what they have to do and let everyone know that I'm doing a good job. So let's get rolling. And again, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go and do that now. Anyway, so does muscle actually turn into fat? Well, this is one pound of muscle. This is one pound of fat. Again, as you can see, they're two different tissues. So muscle is active tissue in your body. Muscles help you move and muscles help to raise your metabolic rate. Body fat, on the other hand, is the total opposite. Body fat is designed to store calories. It's basically like a storage unit for your body and it stores excess fat. So does muscle turn into fat? No, it's physiologically impossible for muscle to turn into fat because there are two different tissues. Bottom line, the number one thing that makes you fat is overeating. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So this is what happens. Typically when uh, people work out, they have to eat more calories because they're trying to build muscle and they're trying to fuel a different physique. So what happens is once they stop working out, they continue to eat all that food and obviously over time your body doesn't need that much muscle anymore because there's nothing stimulating that muscle. So your body ends up getting rid of the muscle and because you've never changed your dietary habits, your body's just saying, okay, I have all this extra calories now, I'm gonna put them in the storage place and that's how you end up overweight. Very, very simple. <laughs> I just kind of summed that whole thing up really, really quickly. But again, you just get the idea. It's not the act of like muscle actually turning into fat. It's that you've never really understood how nutrition works. So I don't plan on ever stop working out. I mean, you never know what could happen, but I love it. It's just part of my day. It has literally become my life for all of these years. So I probably will be working out as long as I can. I'm going to be like that famous bodybuilder, Robbie Robinson, this guy's in his 70s and he looks phenomenal. This guy is in unbelievable shape. I want to be that. That's what I kind of aspire to, to be that, you know, a guy at that age, still working out, still looking good. That's where I want to be. But that's me. So someone taking this on right now might say, okay, yeah, but I don't want to get fat like that. But this is why it's so important to understand the basics of nutrition. Remember, your body doesn't see foods it doesn't discriminate against foods it just sees total amounts so you can actually add fat from eating healthy it's possible if you're overeating your food when you're not burning as much as you normally would be you're going to put on fat so this is why it's so important to understand if you're going to undertake changing your body composition understanding the basic principles of nutrition because the basic principles of nutrition will always apply no matter what. And those are the things that I strive to teach all of our clients so they can take that away and use that forever. And that's the thing, like I said, so I will never be in that position because I understand how nutrition works. So if you quit working out, your muscle's not gonna turn to fat. Again, like I said, your body, this is like expensive tissue for your body to make. Because remember, this is metabolically active which means it needs calories to sustain itself, it needs protein, it helps you move. So if you don't give your body enough fuel to build muscle, your body's just gonna say, eh, Anthony's not really working out, he's not bench pressing the way he used to be, he's not squatting the way he used to be, he's not deadlifting what he was doing, so eh, I don't need this. And it kind of gets rid of it, there's no demand for it. So once it gets, if, if that happens, the muscle dwindles down, my calorie intake stays the same, but it says, oh, well, now I have all these extra calories. So here you go, Anthony. That's a new, uh, a new toy, new storage piece. So that's what happens. Muscle does not turn into fat. Fat does not turn into muscle. The other way around, too. Most people think that, oh, I want to turn my fat into muscle. You can't. They're literally two different tissues. You cannot change them. So 
when you see that picture of Arnold, <laughs> that is just because he was eating too much. That's what it comes down to. Arnold was just eating too much. Uh, I think his thing is apple strudel. So he was eating too much apple strudel, and that's why he looked like that. It's not because he stopped working out. So keep that in mind. I urge you to start working out if you're not already because it's going to drastically transform your life. I promise it's going to help you feel better. It's going to help you move better. It's going to get you stronger, and it's going to make you look better naked, which is ultimately what we all want. All right, guys, if you're interested in coaching, head on over to my website or send me a message wherever you're listening to this, and I'll get back to you. I'll catch you guys on the next one.